What's up, metal and heavy music fans? It's Flight of Icarus again with MetalTrenches.com, and today I'm here to talk about the eighth full-length album, Guardians, from Pennsylvania metalcore stalwarts August Burns Red via Fearless Records. But before I do that, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because there's plenty more videos for you to enjoy after this one. Says drummer Matt Grainer about the record, Lyrically, I wanted to write about being able to reach out to someone. We all need a person who can take the punches for us when we need them to. We need a defender who bends so we don't break. The music matched perfectly. Now, I always find it difficult to fully express my thoughts on this band's albums due to their overall uniformity and sound. It's honestly pretty amazing that even after 17 years, they've maintained such a level of consistency in both quality and approach. So much so that while I've considered doing a discography tier list, it almost seems pointless given the relatively level playing field. Guardians continues on very much in the same vein as past releases incorporating the classic melodic metalcore riffs of the early 2000s alongside some of the more progressive directions of Phantom Anthem and Found in Faraway Places. And though there isn't a whole lot new to say about these 11 tracks, that shouldn't at all undercut their quality. Bones has kind of a cool riff that stood out to me in addition to the usual bag of tricks. Amongst the palm mute and picking alterations, catchy chorus and ripping solo, there's this more simplistic little hook that really sticks in the brain. A lot of these tracks are just super anthemic and heavy as per usual. Paramount delivers on some very Messengers-esque guitars and sick drumming, as well as a super cool backup Oh, section that I'm certain will be a new crowd pleaser for live performances. Other standouts in this category include Dismembered Memory and Empty Heaven, great gang vocals on the opening of this one. But I was particularly taken with Extinct by Instinct, which in addition to just being a total banger with some solid ups and downs, also incorporates symphonic elements towards the end that crank up an already powerful conclusion. Then there are your more melodically focused tracks like Ties That Bind and Lighthouse. This latter one has an increased focus on clean singing and slower pace, including a peaceful interlude complemented by groovy, clanky bass, topped off with a spoken word portion that reminds me a lot of certain moments on Rescue and Restore. Not just another car. Also, closing track Three Fountains, which is one of the more dynamic and outright progressive arrangements on the album, it provides a more thoughtful end cap to another otherwise pretty hard-hitting album. In the end, it seems as if August Burns Red is one of those bands like Slayer that is destined to fly the flag high for their particular sound with no compromise until the day that they decide to call it quits. And in my humble opinion, it seems to be working pretty well for them. While most other metalcore bands from this era have severely fallen off in the past decade, August Burns Red continues to deliver on solid nostalgic tunes with the occasional modern twists that never fail to get me moving. I give them a 9 for enjoyability. Seriously, ABR have really yet to truly let me down in terms of fun and engagement across their discography, though I'm still most partial to Rescue and Restore, Constellations, and Found in Faraway Places. I give it a 9 for musicianship. The album is well composed and performed with some more multi-textured and technical parts here and there. I do feel like it is a bit of a step back from the last two albums though, and speaking of which, same goes for the level of innovation, for which I give them a 7 this go-around. 
I feel like the band had been doing a lot, especially on Found in Faraway Places, to broaden the scope of their sound. But with Guardians, it feels a little more like back to basics, and not that that's a bad thing, just no extra points here. Those scores rounding out to an 8.3. It's a B for August Burns Red's Guardians, again via Fearless Records. Y'all, thanks as always for watching, and let me know if you would be interested in me doing a tier list at some point for this band. Also, again, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed it, drop a comment, share it, hop down the description, you can find links to all of our social media. You can also sign up for the email newsletter that I send out every Friday to keep you up to date with everything that's going on at MetalTrenches.com. If you feel like you're getting added value every time you watch these videos, consider becoming a patron and sign up at Patreon or Subscribestar. Just a dollar a month makes a huge difference in helping me cover overhead costs and also justify the time that I put into all of this. But that'll do it for this video. Stick around after for more. But for now, this is Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches.